everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a Christmas makeup tutorial and I'm not sure if you can see my little snowman headband but it might be out of frame but you know I just thought I'd wear it to be festive and the headband is actually really small so it keeps falling off and I'm surprised that uh, it's not snapped in half yet but you know just before I get started into the video, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I do have a vlog channel and it is linked right here and I have been uploading so much on that recently, like I've been doing like basically daily vlogging really, I'm vlogging today actually, so you will see this uh, day's vlog up there soon, so yeah please make sure to go subscribe to that if you haven't already because I know there's not as many of you on there as there is on this channel, but yeah thank you guys for watching and let's get started. So I'm just going to be doing my normal foundation routine which is my number 7 beautifully matte light foundation and then just using a brush to buff that in and then using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder over the top. Now moving on to my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil and I've been loving this recently. I'm not sure if you guys have watched any of my other makeup tutorials but I usually outline my eyebrow and then fill it in with like a powder but recently I've just been using this for like the filling in and the whole like, like outlining I'm filling in so I don't use my powders anymore, I just prefer the pencil. And my eyebrows need doing so bad. They're getting done this Saturday, but they've not been done for like a few months. I'm also going to be applying some bronzer and I'm going to be using the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer which is a new purchase. It's actually mine and my mum's, we both share it because we both needed some bronzer and so we decided to get this one and share it and I recommended it because I've heard good things about it online and I've actually been really liking it so I'm just going to like bronze up my face with this. I'm going to have to take this headband off because it's like falling off. Right, there we go. That should be easier now. So to prime my eyes, I like to use the NYX Jimbo Eye Pencil in Milk because it's a white primer so it just helps all of the eyeshadows stand out. And eyeshadows never really tend to stand out on my eyes when I don't have primer on. They do when other people do my eyeshadow but I'm just not great at eyeshadow. So I don't know, this just helps it stand out more so I just like to use this just on my eyes. So for eyeshadow I'm going to be taking my Naked 2 palette which I always use because it's literally like probably like one of the only palettes I have. I don't really own that much makeup um, but I'm, I'm going to be using another palette as well don't worry I'm not just using this one. But I'm just taking the colour tees and using that in my crease because I just think it's a good crease colour. Like I said I'm not that good at makeup like especially eyeshadow I'm not very good at it but I just thought I wanted to do a Christmas look. So I'm just putting this colour tees in my crease. Now I think for this look I'm going to be doing some like silvery eyes. So I'm going to take the colour Verve which is like a silvery grey colour out of the Naked 2 palette and I'm just going to put that on my eyelids. So that's that done and I'm not really sure if you can see it because I don't know what like what's wrong with I don't know if it's my lighting or my camera but you can never really see the eyeshadow when I do it on myself and it's really annoying but uh, and it's like so annoying how other YouTubers can just like show their eyeshadow really well but I'm going to try and get some close-ups at the end so now I'm going to be using this Avon palette which is the master collection and it has eyeshadow lip gloss and blush and I don't use this one very often but I just 
I, but I've just seen these like colours at the top which are really nice they're like shimmery like nudie colours and I need to swatch this because this one it looks so much better in the pan oh my gosh it's like a glittery grey but like when you like swatch it all the glitter is just like a top layer and then there's hardly anything underneath so that's disappointing but I'm going to be using the like whitish silver colour as an inner corner highlight and now I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to attempt to use that silvery grey colour in my outer corner to just darken it up a bit and then I'm just taking this big like fluffy blending brush and just Attempting to blend that all out because I feel like the grey that I just put on the outer corner has just ruined it. I'm so bad at putting outer corner like eyeshadow on with precision. I need like a class teaching me how to do eyeshadow. So now I'm going to be doing some winged eyeliner. I just use the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and one of these is like fuller than the other but I just like to use the one that's running out of it to like get an outline and then fill it in with the one that's full. Sorry if I look down for this part guys but I'm just not very good at doing this on camera. Okay so I just had to go off camera just to finish my eyeliner because I could not do it like just sat here like with the mirror on my knee. I had to go and look in the proper mirror and it's still not looking the best. It's a little shaky but it would usually be better than this if I weren't filming. But yeah that's the eyes done. I just need to do my mascara now. So I'm just going to be curling my lashes and then using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious with Oil Blend. So I'm just going to be applying my highlighter and this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade Pink Shimmer and ideally I would want to use a gold highlighter for this because it's like a Christmassy look but this is the only one that I own, a pinkish one. So I'm just going to use this for now but I think a gold one would look really nice as well. And because this is a Christmas look, obviously I'm going to do a red lip and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lipstick in 547 Pleasure Me Red and I really like this lipstick. It is the only red lipstick I own and I feel like if I did own a darker one I might apply that one instead of this because this is quite a bright red but I'm just going to be using a little brush to apply this because I'm really bad with applying it um, straight out of the tube because it's such like a vibrant colour and if you get it somewhere where you don't want it it's so hard to get off. And now that I've like kind of like just lined them I'm going to go in with the tube. I just turned my powder upside down and it just came out on the top of my mirror. Wow. Oh no, that makes my heart break. <laughs> because this lipstick isn't matte and I want it to be, I'm going to use a hack that I found online to make any lipstick matte. And you just take a translucent powder. Or is it transparent? Transparent powder. And just put it on your lips and it just makes them matte. I think I need to blot it first. Let's blot it. So that is the finished look guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out but I'm not too sure about the lipstick because I've never really liked red lipstick like on myself but let me know what you think in the comments, I hope you enjoyed and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and like I said at the beginning please make sure to go and check out my vlog channel because I'm vlogging today and I've been vlogging the past few days so I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, bye guys. 
I'm 21 days.